Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to cover out a little bit on the AlphaWise U20 printer. So as you see, I've got it printing really uh, working well. So initially had some problems with the switch module up here. Uh, this is the same switch module as the Creality CR10. So I had a couple of those extra laying around. Uh, so I just uh, replaced it. Works perfect. Uh, no issues. I did have to tighten up a couple of the other screws, for example, on the hot end and that, but outside of that, it's some tuning, and it, it's good to go. Uh, you might remember I did have a problem up here. I had to put a different bolt in up here on the extruder uh, because the one that came was stripped out, so I just put a little bit longer M3 in there, and that is working great. And so I've been doing a number of prints with it, and that's where I just kind of want to do a bit of a brief uh, video on some updates so I have to watch putting my hand over here this is a touch screen uh, so this is one of the the pieces I really like the touch screen as you guys probably all know I'm a huge fan of touch screens versus knobs uh, so I like this but having it on the top like this and, and you notice the light coming down over here uh, it makes it a little bit hard to see so sometimes I've got to use my hand to cover it but functionally it works very well I also like the fact it has separate homings for X and Y versus Z. Also, you can move the Z up and down, so that works really well. I like that too versus the Creality. Um, the, the unit does get a little bit warm. It's a sealed unit. I haven't opened this up yet, so I'm really not sure what board is in here. Now, one of the pieces, according to the GearBest website, says this is a 24-volt system which is a good thing in my book, especially with such a large bed. The bed does come up to temperature pretty good in a reasonable time. I am using it as it came with the uh, borosilicate glass with the BuildTech clone stuff on top. This is really working well uh, with everything, so no issues there. I, I do have to work on the cable management back here a little bit. I haven't quite sorted all that out. I probably will add a... Uh, cable chain to this and especially in the back here is not so so much but uh, in the back with the bed it is rather short and so I think I'll make that mod in the future everything else though right out of the box seems to be working well so the only two issues have been the switch and the bolt here which again I kind of expect out of you know stuff you get from China especially at this price point uh, again this appeared to be you know probably broken in disassembly because as I mentioned in the build video it looked like they had assembled all this disassembled it packed it and and so this was probably damaged in that process because I did not find the other piece of the switch uh, in the box uh, however that being said and, and also I have links to this below it's good to have some of these if you get if you're into the Creality or this style printer they all use the same switch components and the other piece is you know, out of my unboxing video, I'd like people to say, Whoa, why did you use Creality CR10 in the title using a good name? This is a CR10 clone, folks. So if you look at the CR10 and you look at this, this is basically the same printer, except it's got, uh, uh, you know, some red hardware on it. This, the, uh, the X switch is a little bit different, but pretty much this is a Creality t a CR10. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I'm very happy with it. I mean, the hot end's, you know, basically the same. It's got a little bit different uh, fan assembly on here. CR10's got a vertical fan assembly. This one's horizontal. Uh, I actually find this one kind of interesting. I, I don't know if I like this better or not, uh, but I do find this a little bit more interesting, and as I use it more and more, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But, you know, so far, big thumbs up on this guy. For a $299 price to get a 12 by 12 printer of this quality, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it at, at this juncture, so I'm still running it through a little bit more of its paces, but I wanted to share uh, with you guys kind of its performance. And again, as I mentioned, with the 24 volt, the bed heats up, holds temperature very well, uh, which is probably one of the biggest things of this class printer. Now, I haven't insulated this bed, I probably will in the future. Uh, you know, as you've seen me do with my other large scale printers, I think it's very worthwhile. I will probably do, because of the way that the bed's designed, you know, the thin coat oil stuff that caused much of the controversy in, in several of the previous videos. I really do think that that stuff does work. Um, I've had good luck with it. I've been running it on this, this CR10 now for quite some time uh, with success. So I'm going to add it to this because it's very low profile versus what I did with the Tron XE with the. Uh, with the uh, ceramic matting. 
Anyways, I'm printing out uh, some parts here. So, uh, actually, uh, some parts for this and some parts for the Zone Star. Uh, primarily because I got the I have the red plastic in this, and, and so I want to kind of go with the red theme of this, and also the red theme on the Zone Star, which is right next door to it. So I'm printing some um, Z alignment modules, which I'll do a video on uh, for the Zone Star, as well as some new bearing caps uh, for the Zone Star here. But the centerpiece is going to be for this this Alpha Wise. It's actually going to be a captive bearing module for the Z-axis up there because it's just kind of held in place by a 3D printed piece. And what I want to do is have a bearing in there to kind of hold it, uh, you know, more stable, if you will, as well as, you know, again, I think it'll just be better having a bearing versus just rubbing against loose plastic. So, anyways, just kind of wanted to update you guys on this. I'll have the link for this down below along with some GearBest um, uh, promo codes and that kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely check it out. If you're looking for a large scale printer like this, I definitely give it a big thumbs up. You know, before warrant again, you might have a couple minor bobbles like a screw here, there, this or there, or tightening up some stuff. But in general, as you've seen it running here, this is out of the box. Also very easy to tune. Does have a single Z over here like the uh, CR10. Uh, so be aware of that. I haven't seen a kit to go to uh, dual Z's. However, you could probably, if you if that was really what you wanted to do, I'm betting you dollars to donuts. You could adapt the uh, the exi the uh, I'm going to spit it out here the CR10 Dual Z. So, anyways, Swag Shop will be up there. Don't forget to comment below. Do you have one of these? Are you thinking about getting one of these? Is there another alternative to uh, something of this size class I should take a look at? Uh, again, I kind of like to take a look at things that not everybody is looking at, you know, i.e. Joe Teller or Angus, you know, like the Unicubics, that kind of stuff. Uh, or if there are some kind of off-the-wall 3D printers you think are kind of cool that I should look at, let me know in the comments below or CNC or anything that's kind of a little bit off the beaten track that you have found that's kind of cool. Let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested in hearing about it. Cheers and see you guys in the next video. Click like below and subscribe to the channel.